After that, he would take the whole um, a metal thing there, a metal thing there, and then oh, he would a, padlock. A gate. A gate. And he wow. Would so that shows you how plateau I saw right. a historic plaque there on Saint Laurent which showed some of the old signs saying, no Jews or dogs allowed. Wow. Yeah, here in Montreal. Yeah. Wow. In the well, 30s. Actually, uh, that's why I'm... I'm I, I don't understand why, Abraham, you're doing this here. You because know? it's here that we need to have our independence. The Jewish Bund called for national cultural autonomy here. Because have you ever heard of Corey Schuster? He has YouTube, because you're on YouTube too. Corey Schuster, he, he interviews Palestinians, and he says, uh, once the Palestinians get uh, control, uh, are, the, are Jews allowed to live? And they say the Jews have to return to where they came from. They're Europeans. No, no, they accept. They accept the Jewish no, uh, people no. there. Some want them to leave, yes. Uh, look, look, look. Are you Palestinian? No, I'm French. What? I was just from telling France. He's from France. Ages because as a French, for me... Well, well your family is originally from, from where? From now? Not from, no, no, no. I, I'm from French West Indies. French West Indies, okay. I, as a French, I grew up meeting Jews you mean in what, Martinique in France in, in Paris but originally your family so you said from West Press no West my area? family settled in Paris in 46 46 and before that my, before 46 they were in Martinique but uh, in Martinique okay, yes but right. I mean 46 till their death they were in Paris that's one of the also the misconceptions of the separatists the French uh, PQ no but that's what what did you say that uh, you, I don't know. There's no occupation. There's, he says there's, there's no occupation. You don't exist either. Just because I say so. I, I, I'm neutral. I'm neutral, sir. I'm 100% neutral. But, you know, <laughs> I, was, yeah, I think... I, 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 Abraham, I think you're risking going to jail because uh, I read on the news that... There, there was an injunction? There's an injunction? Yeah, but against the independent Jewish voices. They're, they're a bunch of idiots. No, but I mean, you're, you're going to be arrested and pulled in jail. No, no, the police were here, and I'm a, a not the same organization. I'm not, you know, the defendant of the injunction. It's independent Jewish voices and Palestinian youth movement of Concordia University that are forbidden to come here. Really? Mm. Okay. Because, because they were harassing people. Because those, those independent Jewish voices, they're in assimilated Jewish people who think that the Jewish people are the enemy. You know? But they are good. Because, you know, they're the good Jews, and everybody else is a bad Jew. Well, so, uh, well, so you know, I don't accept that. So, you have so I, many different I criticized Jews. them when we... <laughs> it doesn't in, make in, sense. In 2007, <laughs> we were together in a movement that I helped to co-found. And then I, I told them, you know, you can't talk like that, you know, like, well, that's not there, acceptable. So much, and they expelled me. This racism and so is, since 2008, we've it, been two different organizations. It, it, this racism is so... It, it's yeah. Weird. If you look at, have you ever heard of a guy called the uh, General Erhard Milch? Has that ever name ever made? Anything? No. Never heard of General Erhard Milch. General? General Erhard Milch. Milch, no. He was the deputy chief of the Luftwaffe during World War II. Ah. Uh? He was. Uh, he was. Some say half Jewish or even Jewish. Really? It's, he was. What an son, idiot. He was the son of a German, uh, a Jew. Uh, his, his grandfather was a rabbi. Wow. And his father was a career Navy officer in the German Imperial Navy as a pharmacist, and he was a lieutenant commander. The, the, a lot of people were saying, because Erhard Milz's father married a German, uh -huh. okay, so he was half Jewish. Uh -huh. Well, he was not. But his father was Jew his father was Jewish. If, if his so mother was not. So, so, Come here, you're standing in front of the banner. No, no. Oh, sorry. So, so the way... The way they... No, I'm not. I'm a Jewish Bundist. And I fight against fascism. I'm anti-fascist. The people were killed there. No, they weren't. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie to make you support genocide. Do you support genocide? Do you support genocide in Gaza? Are you a fascist? person I consider the most rightful person in this debate is I forgot it is a diplomat. Who's that? Um, no no um he's uh, well, he's well, a, well, no uh, an Israeli well, diplomat and oh the UN diplomat. Uh, no um, he was a he was a diplomat in France. Uh, um uh, uh, but, but just Barnaby, Eli Barnaby. Never heard of him. Never heard of him? No. no. Listen to him. <laughs>
I don't know him either. Oh, you don't know Lady Bonadine? Nobody had milk. Tree. That's for us, Europe, and this is North America. North and Americans, and we don't and know and anything about example, Europe. When, the, when some people Nazis they because what happened? Erhard Milch, you have to understand. Erhard Milch was a son. Uh, his mother was uh, was Lutheran. His father was uh, was a was a Jewish uh, naval officer uh -huh. in the Imperial Navy Army as a pharmacist. Many, many. Uh, and what happened you, was is Milch was uh, in World War One. Erhard Milch was part of Yasta Eleven. His commanding officer, his last commanding officer, was Hermann Göring. Wow. And he was uh, he was uh, he was um, he was Richthofen's wingman. You know when they fly in the pilot, uh -huh. they have a wingman. He was the he oh. was the wingman of Richthofen. So Richthofen would make the kill, but he'd uh, protect his back. Uh -huh. He was an ace in his uh, in his own right. He didn't have the full uh, merit, but he had. Did all the other medals because he had he shot down about 20, I think, 20 aircraft. So he became assimilated. His mother was Lutheran, so he was raised a Lutheran. That's what happened to Karl Marx, you know. So His parents had converted to but, being but, Lutheran, but happened, and he was raised a Lutheran. What happened was a lot of people said he, he was a Jew. And you know what, you know what, and a dirty Jew, and uh, we, we, we should set him up. But you know what, Hermann Goering, because he was a good friend of Hermann Goering, Hermann Goering, assembled all the people and he said, I decide what is a Jew and what isn't a Jew. <laughs> and I'm saying that, uh, that, um, Milch. that uh, Milch. Milch is an, a pure Aryan because his uh, mother, mother had an affair with an Aryan and he's, it's not his father. Oh. And he said, and now everyone who raises their, who disagrees with me, raise their hand. No one raised their hand. He and said, problem solved. And he so said, that, that's like, look, the same thing like Saddam Hussein. Saddam Hussein did the same thing. Saddam Hussein. There were many when, when Jews in Iraq who no. were in the um, Ba'ath movement. No, a lot of Jews were, uh, were, were programmed. There were some. They were ethnically cleansed. You know, I, but, I, I don't agree with you, Abraham. I respect you. There was probably I, I, there was probably riots against because I'm Jewish sure people because of uh, Zionism. But the Zionists also planted a bomb in a synagogue in Iraq to, to, they, to yeah. scare the Jewish people to come to Palestine. Uh, October, you don't, do you believe October 7th is a, is a Zionist plot or do you think it happened? Oh, it happened, yes, but the atrocities didn't happen. Hamas did not commit uh, they all those murders. 1,200, I'm sorry. They, no. Not, to, not so many. No genocide allowed in Gaza. I'm sorry, they killed a lot of people. In the Israel government. killed more Israelis than Hamas did. I'm, I'm sorry, no. I'm sorry. There's they even did. the videos from the Israel military they released, that they were targeting they the cars, released, you know, at the Nova Festival. Hostage. The Hamas is saying there's a prisoner of war. This hostage is younger than these boys there. I mean, these boys are not soldiers of the EDF. Yeah, but oh, Israel does the same thing. They put kids like them into prison. Yeah, there's 10,000 Palestinian prisoners. They arrest a kid for throwing a stone that doesn't even reach the soldiers. Threw a stone. So? Didn't hit anybody. No big deal. Yeah, but the soldiers shoot bullets and rubber bullets. Who started the war? I saw The Zionists in 1947. You don't know about how they expelled all the... So you're one of those people that says it goes back, way more back than October 7th? Yeah, Why was there no war? Even October the 7th. The stories of mass rapes and that, it's propaganda in order to convince you to support a genocide. There's no testimonies. So, you're saying that... Gaza, the Hamas fighters were right on October 7th. Right, right. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that that they didn't commit the atrocities that What's they're like, accused of. Hamas it's false. More Palestinians died. Is Hamas using human huh? shields right now? upset because more Palestinians died than Israelis? Yes. No, no? I'm upset that that they're yes being no, genocided. Yes no. You know, why are they, why are the civilians Hamas being bombed? Hamas is using fucking human shields. <laughs> They're no, Hamas is underground. Under hospitals. What the hell? Did Hamas not, is wait, underground. Did you not see the video? No. Of the last people they're saying, bombing civilians. The people were yeah, like, because the hospitals were like, are right no, under they, it. No, the no, they're, they're like, bombing civilians why did you because they're the family of the Hamas shelters, fighters. And they said, we don't give a shit about the people in Palestine. We don't Who? care about them. We don't care about the people in Gaza. He squats schmuck. Huh? He squats. You know the word squats? Yeah, no, it's just just trying to insult me. And schmuck. You should have more respect. I'm I'm your elder. And I'm a no, doctor of political elder. science, a doctor and I'm Jewish, a and a second generation. You are doctor of the Have respect. Bullshit. No respect for you. I insist upon it. No, you. I, no I'm second generation Holocaust survivor. And you can't talk to me like that. Manchel, sick guy who is born home, his dick no. doesn't work long time. I, I don't have any need to kill Palestinians. Why do you want to kill Palestinians? He is 
for a walk in that. They can live together, He's a but you don't want to. What? You know what, this what do you want to do? Means? Expel all the Palestinians into Egypt? Yeah. You are fucking losing. They're already losing, living together.